Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you wanted to join me today because today we're going to talk about minimalism, zero waste and the joy of refusing to purchase certain items. Long title, I know, but before we get started, can you see I can make a braid and it's almost long, yay! <laughs> I miss long hair so much. I recently talked to one of my dear friends about um, you know, the rush you get when you buy a certain item or the kick you get when you purchase something on sale. You know this feeling you get when you spend some money and it makes you really happy for a while. That I would almost describe as an addiction. It is an addiction to consumption and to purchasing things that you don't really need and it's something a lot of us are familiar with because we've been brought up in this society where you know, consumerism and generally purchasing of items, it's rewarded by acceptance and prestige and everything. One of the things that I thought when I started Zero Waste was the most difficult but also the most fascinating was the refusal, refusal, was the refusal of things and the option that you can actually say no and that you can say, hey, I don't need this, I don't want this and, you know, you can distance yourself from all of this consumerism. It's something that not many people practice because we've been brought up with the feeling that, or you know, the idea that if we want something and if we have the money to buy it, why wouldn't we? Because it's available, it's right there. Um, and I think it's one of the most difficult things. It's saying no when you have the option to say yes. Um, but you know this kick, this addictive rush you get when you buy something and you need to buy more and more and more and more expensive things in order to uphold this rush or to keep it going. I recently discovered that when I am saying no to things and I'm, when I'm walking past a sale, when I am you know, deliberately making the decision not to purchase this in spite of maybe wanting to or in spite of making being, you know, forced to or, you know, being tempted. The rush I get when I say no, walk past, don't do it, when I refuse is so much more powerful or it's long lasting, it's this general feeling of joy I get when I'm realizing that I haven't bought anything in a real store in two years. For instance, it's just such an amazing feeling and I just really wanted to share this with you. I wrote a blog post about it on my blog a while back. I will leave it down below if you want to check it out as well. Because it's it's a thing that maybe it's very hard to articulate what it's actually about. But I would generally recommend everybody to try this and to try and say no and stop it. We've been told by companies for so long that we need specific items to do specific jobs or that we need to look a certain way in order to be accepted into this group of people or at, at this event. For instance, we've been told, especially women, that we have to buy new things whenever we are going to an event or party, whatever, that you need to buy new dress, new shoes uh, in order for yourself to feel good, in order to look pretty, which is not the case. And it's very easy to say it's not the case when you just talking about it but you know the feelings are real and the feelings are so you know implemented this idea is very implemented into our minds that it's very very hard to shake off um so for me zero waste was a gateway into realizing that all of this i'm being told all the time by ads and commercials and tv and television and radio and internet and everything it's all bollocks um, but it's not true, it's not really something that we need to do in order to be out there, children, outside. And I'm just in here rambling about consumerism. Oh, I love it. Um, but we've been told this so much that in the end many people are starting to believe this to be the truth or the way that we need to do things. But it was actually the companies and the firms that were trying to sell us products that told us this. So. Mm. But I just wanted to share with you the joy I get from refusing to buy items and I would uh, recommend you to you know, think about this feeling and think about if you get a certain rush whenever you succeed in being zero waste or whenever you succeed in being a minimalist and generally when you succeed in not buying anything because it's just such an amazing feeling. I really, really, really love it. It was just very cold. This was just a very short and very talkative, very positive video. Um, you know, I usually talk about, you know, negative aspects and a lot of things and generally I can make myself quite mad when I think about 
these I these things, these items. But to them, just very happy. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. And I hope that you enjoyed this little video. And if you did, leave me a comment down below and tell me if you have had similar experiences because I would really love to learn about them. And to you, talk to you. I love it. And you can also follow me on you know Facebook and Instagram where I usually post more about this stuff. And you can subscribe to this channel, obviously. If you did, it would make my day. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. And if I do, take really good care of yourself. Until then, see you guys next time. Bye!